Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We are back with another resource, no, not a resource highlight. What is it? It's a code tutorial. Thank you, Fanta. So, essentially today we are going to be making, and I am still in this Discord call. Totally forgot what's boomerang out of that. Um, so essentially we're going to be creating a simple resource today. We're going to make a... Drum roll? No. Alright, we're going to make a chat command resource. So, this is going to be a simple chat command. We could do forward slash me, for example. You want to make your own forward slash me, this is how you do it. So, what you want to do is you want to obviously set yourself up. I've added a folder in my resources folder here called tutorial resource. That's what it means, at least. And we're going to make a couple files in here. I'm using a workspace in uh, Visual Studio Code to make this one work nicely make life a lot easier for us and we're gonna do it all client side in the next video tutorial resource to be more specific we will be making I believe a kick function so we will be using server as well in that one probably only server so to start yourself off it's always good to add some credit at the top Fax boy <sighs> whatever and we're going to go client underscore script client dot lua now that is referencing client dot lua right here as a client script so it's going to load it for the client if you want to do a server script you would type server underscore script and you would put whatever you named the file you could do sv dot lua you could put whatever we named the file but we don't have a server script so we don't need it there's an example for you i'll leave it right there so you can have a look at it now in our client thing you know, good to put credit, you know, good, good to be like that. But we're also, why did I control F? We're going to make a command that outputs something. So we're going to simply put a little nice register command here. This is what a base register command looks like. Um, some people will put just raw here, but I tend to put raw command. Um, so for this, you can it's very simple. You could set um, args. You set args. You could do pretty much anything you want. So if we set it to forward slash me here, Phantom wants to leave the room. So give me one second. We are going to say um, message equals, and we're going to put this here. I'm just copying stuff. I'm using. I got my Elgato Stream Deck set up with simple things, so I can just you know. Bam, 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 if I wanted to, but we don't need to do that. So, essentially, I'm just going to keep putting all the brackets there, isn't it? I'm not so I can get rid of them. All right, good. All right. So, essentially, this grabs everything after the first argument and puts it as a string. So, if we were to type in game, forward slash me, hello there, or hi there, whatever, it would say, it would replace this right here as the message, right? Which is what we got here. And we're gonna put a local here, actually. Um, if you're not using this, I, I would just say this, if you're not using message outside of this um, function or whatever whatever you're doing, might be it, um, an if statement, something like that, you should put local in front of it. Um, but we're gonna trigger event. We're gonna trigger event. The reason why we don't put client here is because we're already on the client side, so we're not going to put client there. You just do trigger event. If it's on the same side as where you're calling it to, you just put trigger event. You don't specify the side. Otherwise, you'll have the, um, what does it say in console and game? It says like something with trigger client event internal or trigger server event internal. That's because you have client here when you're already on client side. All right, so we're going to change our event name here and we're going to call it um, chat message. This is the default output for a chat message. Um, we need to capitalize that M though, I believe, for memory. So, then you can put your arguments here. So, considering it's client, we can put S here, we can put minus one here. Alright. You need to specify a source. So, if we wrote source here, it would only display to the person that wrote the command. It wouldn't display to anyone else. If we put minus one here, it will display to all here, everyone in the cell. So now we're going to do a nice little format here 
we're going to use our up arrows. And for up arrows, you can reference this post here. Let's just find on the forums real quick. Forums is a nice handy tool if you're new, especially. We've got a nice little notification here. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, taser cartridge. Someone says something. Anyway, we're going to go into, I believe it's in documentation, and it's by our boy Jellington. Jelly, Jellyton, Jellyton, something like that. All right. Jellyton. And these are all the chat colors here, default chat colors. Um, so if we want our nice thing to be purple, we're going to go up arrow six, right? So we're going to go up arrow, up arrow six, and we're going to put in brackets maybe. We can do me, or we can do me, you know, and then we can put the person's name here, for example. And to put the person's name here, we would do get player name. I believe it is yep get player name and we are going to write right here source because that is the person that did the command so it's gonna get the player name we're gonna make their name white then we're going to go here we're gonna put a space and a couple of dots this is to keep it all as one sort of argument, I guess. If you put commas here, it's going to recognize these different arguments. It's going to break the whole thing. Um, then we're going to put here, we shall write um, we should put a colon maybe, and then we can put a space, and then here we put message. That is pretty much a me command done. Very simple sort of stuff. So we're going to pop in game now, and we're going to test her out. Save everything first. We also need to edit our, don't forget this, edit the server config with the resource name. So start, this way it starts automatically when we start the server. And we're going to start up the server right now. We are back in the server, guys. We had a couple little issues. So if you're following me code-wise, which I know a lot of you would have, there was a bracket here. You want to get rid of that one. And the minus one that we had here, um, you don't want the minus one. You just don't want it because... I'm, I'm used to, I always use register command server side most of the time and use events. So I'm just used to putting the minus one here to specify source from server side. But in this case, we do not need to do it. So, do that again, and there we go. It's going to display the correct format that we had. And it's going to look fantastic as well. Um, so that is that nice little thing. Now, so this is pretty much the resource right here. So... If you want to go into a message that would just display something in chat for the user, you could, you could just copy the whole function, or you can make a new one, boom, and we could go help, right, and then we can go down here, we can put our end down here because it's needed. I know some people do the whole false end thing, it really doesn't make a difference putting true or false, especially me, I use ace perm, so it doesn't really matter to me, it doesn't make a difference really. I know it's good to use it, but not, not needed. All right, so if we wanted to display a simple message to the user, we could do trigger event, we could go chat message, put it as a string, make sure you do that, chat message, and then we could put whatever we want here. Um, so if we wanted to say, the star makes it bold, just so you know guys, as you can see in here, star makes a bold text all right back in here though we can do help and we could say you need help boy we can make it all rainbow colors actually why not why not we got what we got red we can have a little bit of purple we can have a little bit of pink and that's not pink that's pink i think we can have a little bit of blue and do that now we're going to refresh the resource boom it's going to redo its thing it's going to sit there in we go. I already fucked it up. <laughs> Simple mistakes, guys. The comma. It's always the small things you'll overlook. So I, I know I do. I always overlook small things like saying a bracket. I'm like, I got all the brackets. But, you know, upon closer examination, you need a comma there to make it an argument, obviously. So we're going to restart the resource. There should be no errors in here now. And if we do forward slash help, forward slash help, it says it right there. Look, it's a suggestion, which I don't like in the new chat you need help, boy. And it says it there. This is pretty much how you can make your very own nice little chat command. Even make your own forward slash me's and not use the forum ones. Don't be a forum server. 
Hashtag it. Put it in the video. Put it all over the forums. Start hashtagging that on the forums. No more forums servers. Make your own shit. Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.